Okay, so in this tutorial I will show you the basic stuff of mapping, like... Well, this is just a uh, first step of making maps, what you will need to make a map, and different tools and so on. So when you take up your source SDK, you go to File and you press New. That's begin means you begin a new map. Okay, this is the camera view. Uh, make sure you have the camera set to sh 3D shaded texture polygons. Uh, this top view, side view, and front view. Make sure you have one of each. They don't have to be in this pos uh, these positions, but yeah, you can change them. Like this, I can just go in here and change it to like top. Now you see, I got two tops. One up here. Yeah, and one down here. Okay, and don't mind these numbers, it's uh, my fraps, it's another recording thing. Uh, well, yeah, okay. So, now we're gonna make it a block, or a wall, or brush, or whatever you'd like to call it. So, I begin with taking up the texture I want. Um, that one looks nice. Okay, then I go over here, I take the block tool, and I go down here. And then I just drag the block. As you can see here, every box here, you can see, uh, is a jump of 64 inches. 64. You can see it's everyone is 64. Okay. I can change that by going over here and press minus. Now everyone will be 32. If I press it again, it will be 16. If I press it again, yeah, if I go in here, it will be 8. And it will be like that until you take it to 8 so but I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna, you're gonna start with having it to 64 it's just, it's better and it, when I make a block here, you, I can also see it up down here now I press enter and you see it becomes red if this happens to you, like you make something, you press enter, it disappears that means you have this tool up, the selection tool you will need a block tool to make a block. Just making blocks here. Okay. Yeah, we just make them smaller. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I can drag. I can move, uh, change them later on. So yeah. Um, now. I want to see them in the camera view. What I'm gonna do is I take the camera view, I go to some view here, I drag or just push, and then I take the camera view again. I press on the camera window and I look around. There we go. <coughs> now you can see what you've done here. Okay, let's say this looks like a wall texture, so I want to change the textures. Then I go over here, browse. Um, I want a floor, so I get out this block box here and type in floor. Now you can see different floor things come up. I can just scroll down. Um, that one looks good. Okay. So then I take up the texture and then I have the well what I want to change selected and I press here. And you see it changes. And let's say I want to change uh, the size of everything. Then I go take up this tool here. This is the texture tool. I think. Yeah, texture application tool. Okay, so if you press here, you can see it becomes bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. So that's how you change that. And yeah, if you want to change more than one, you can do like this. Okay, so uh, let's say I have a wall. I may gonna just gonna make a wall here, like. Okay, I have a wall there. It's too high now. Uh, normal walls are like one hundred and twenty-eight. You can see here 128 or 
by 144 but yeah it either both works okay so let's say I want to have big blocks here and small here and I do like this I have nothing selected nothing at all I take this and I press on the side you can see only one side gets selected then I can change it and I can do like this I can make this smaller I can also type if I want to like one one apply how you can see it's, qu it's quite big I can also do like this let's say uh, I don't want it to be I don't want it uh, I want the black uh, to, uh, box here to get further down and I do like this okay it works one you see if I take push here changes if I tap in like minus 100 press apply you can see it changes so here you change that I can also rotate everything if I just gonna do like this okay rotate if I put in this here you see it rotates yeah yeah I can also take it back to zero press apply okay so that's how you change textures and so on and also I can do like this <coughs> I can press fit button but it doesn't really work if you have a bigger wall uh, they will get different sizes now because uh, the blocks are different sizes size. But but when you're making a uh, door or anything, uh, it it's going to work good because yeah, it will work better then. So okay. Now what will I need to make a map? Well, we're gonna start with spawn points.